Hey, I'm back with another video. It's 12.57 p.m. It is January 20th. It is Saturday. I had intentions to get outside. I might go outside later. Looks like the sun's peering through the clouds. If it's consistent, then I'll go out. But if not, I guess I'll be staying in the house. But anyway, I just wanted to make this video. Um, you know, today's Saturday. And, you know, I think a lot of people have known that. I'm going to go sit down with me in a second. I'm going to sit down so I don't have to stand up. I think a lot of people have known that I've, you know, I've expressed my frustration because I want to get on with my life. And um, I know there's some issues going on right now with my Patreon account, and I'm trying to be patient. I did mention that I opened the channel in October because I didn't want to be here in January. And, you know, um, I don't know if this whole tribe knows or not, but obviously I'm dealing with financial problems because... Um, you know, I have car payments, I've got credit card payments, I've got things that I want to take care of, and I feel stagnated, and I'm at the mercy of people who have the ability to ruin my credit because of shit not working out as planned. I'm not trying to make people feel guilty, but, you know, I don't like having that feeling. I don't have that, I don't like the feeling of, you know, worrying about, oh, you know, I've got bills to pay and I need to pay. It's like, I realize how when people are set up in these situations, how um, their credit can get ruined or they could, you know, their lives can be affected, their financial life can be affected beyond their control. Like, I'm doing everything I can. I think there are also people who try to discourage me because they don't like the spiritual path I'm on or they don't like the life path I'm on in general. Um, it is not my responsibility to live out the dreams of other people. This is not me being mean or anything. It's not, it, it's not. And I don't even like people suggesting shit because I think I've made myself very clear about how I feel about that. I didn't grow up in a conventional household, okay? Um, and so when people try to force these sort of conventional things on me, I don't appreciate it, and I will, like, literally drop you, like, <laughs> like a hot potato. I don't want that sort of lifestyle, okay? I'm the kind of person who only, I've only known bad people. I've only known, like, con artists, liars, two-faced people, fake family members. I mean, all the way down the line, I have never met a decent person. So, you know, it seems, it seems stupid that I should even have to explain myself when it comes to me wanting to be independent and take care of myself, it, it's like a no brainer. Um, and I don't like it when people start looking at me like, well, I should be doing this and I should be, don't ever try to hinder my life path. I mean, I am respectful of other people's, you know, emotional needs and what they want in life and whatever it is they're going for. And I would never dream of standing in the way of somebody's life path um, or even somebody trying to like convince me to see it another way. I don't. You know, to me, when people start doing that, um, I realize that it's time for me to back off because I look at them as like, I have this thought in my mind where it's like, you know, demons feel like they need to be appeased. They constantly want to, you know, bring up their subjective thinking and want to change me. I'm, I am who I am. I would not trade who the, my, my life views, my opinions, my goals, my dreams. I would not change anything about myself. Now, I know some people, you know, that's not arrogant. I mean, there's obviously things that I could improve, right? Obviously. But I'm aware of those things. I'm not, I, I resent, I'm sorry, but I guess this is kind of a rant video because I wake up with the feeling every day of wanting to get on with my life, move on, feeling like I have some sort of say in my life and I feel stuck and stagnant beyond my control and it, it, that should be understandable I mean if somebody would get mad at you for saying something like that um after they caused me this sort of problem it's kind of like well that's just a vicious cycle of dealing with narcissism but here's the thing you know um no I, I don't live my life like most 53 year olds I was given a life that was very different from other people um you know I get I understand there's a lot of people who follow tradition. I don't have a tradition. And like I said, you know, I don't have family. The only person that I recognize as family would be my son. I don't have family. Okay. And so, you know, I know that there's people who want to throw their two cents in. They want to say this. They want to tell me that. They want to give me their opinion or what they, I, they think I should be doing. What, you know, maybe a 53-year-old woman doesn't do this, that, and the other thing. But like I said, you know, I am who I am, you know. 
I'm just angry right now because I feel like I need to vent because, um, because, um, like I said, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to not have to deal or feel like I need to deal with being in an environment that caused me a lot of pain. I really honestly do appreciate the people in Bakersfield. I think there's been a lot, of, a lot of shift in the turnaround and everything. But, like, still, there's something in my soul that's just not happy. Like, it's, it's like, you know, I will tell you, being mobbed out of every job that you ever had and having to deal with all these issues, um, coming to the realization that your family's fake and everything, just the whole rabbit hole thing, the whole thing to me was enough for me to just, you know, know that I need a new, a new, what do you call it? A new change of scenery. Um, you know, and I do appreciate the people who've connected with me on Instagram, you know, and I'm very grateful for that. There's times where I do have a very low mood and I'm not as chatty as maybe people would want me to be. A lot of, I will tell you every time I have a bad day, Every time I have a bad day, it's always relating to this issue. I don't, you know, I'm not comfortable with people who want to change me because I, I love who I am. I love who I am. I love everything about who I am. That is not arrogance. It's just saying, you know what, this is what makes me happy. You know, my viewpoints in life make me happy. My choices in life make me happy. The things that I care about, my, my hobbies, my interests, you know, and when people try to force me into doing something that I did not want to do, whether that be religion or trying to change my clothes or prevent me from going out for walks or whatever it is, I fucking hate these people. And no, I don't have any fucking, like, I'm not the kind of person that's going to say, oh, I, I forgive that because what you're basically doing is saying, I don't want you to have what you have. Or they don't, they don't want to work for what, you know, for everything that, like, it takes, you know, effort to, you know, to get up in the morning and match your clothes and stuff like that. But it's something that obviously I cared about. And then the, the acts, the, the pressure that was being put on me, basically, you're basically trying to tell me, well, you either do this or you're going to have to commit suicide because, you know, we're going to make it so you can't work, you can't do this, you can't do that. And I was at the point where it's like, well, you know what, then I'll fucking kill myself then because I was just fucking tired of it. I'm not going to live a life that I don't fucking like. I'm not going to sit here and, like, be in a part of a religious group that I don't fucking believe in. I'm not going to sit here and, like, associate with people that I don't want to be around. I don't want any of that sort of stuff, you know? Um, what else do I want to say? I'm just really venting right now because I need to get the fuck out of here. Like, I'm just beyond pissed off. I'm tired of, like, you know, um, not having the life that I feel like I deserve. And the life that I deserve is just basically, I would be basically picking up and going on with my life, pretty much doing the same things. I don't really see where there, there would be a significant change in my life. I think basically what I want is I want to move into a place and stay there. Like, stay there for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm tired of moving here, there, everywhere. I'm tired of not having any sort of stability in my life. And that's what I want. I want stability. You know what I mean? And I feel as though I'm the only person. I'm the, I, and some people say, well, you know, you should just go, you should just go get yourself married. I will not let myself be in a put in a situation where a man has that sort of control over me, where anybody has that sort of control over me. And it's not about me being rebellious of saying, oh, well, women are trying to make a statement here. It's about me understanding the patterns of my behavior, my behavior patterns. Okay. I'm obviously somebody <clears throat> who has, you know, advanced ideas, somebody who does a lot of different things that might annoy somebody. I'm already set in my ways. I'm 53 years old, okay? It would be very difficult, absolutely miserable. I would be put in a situation where I would feel forced into suicide if I had to deal with somebody who was expecting me to change my life to accommodate them. I can't do that. I can't do that. All I can do is be me. So people have to accept me as I am. Um, it is what it is, you know what I mean? And um, I'm angry that people try to do the behavior modification thing on me, and I don't appreciate that because obviously people know that the way that I'm living is correct. So anyway, um, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I, I mean, I've been saying this for the, the longest time. I just want to move on. You know what I mean? It's been really hard on me. It's been a nightmare. Um, 
you know, not having that sort of stability. None of, none of this stuff is making me feel better. Like it just makes me feel worse actually. Um, I think, you know, obviously my life is going to be one that's very quiet, one that's very peaceful. And basically the only way that people are really going to get in touch with me is when they see me on my videos. I don't play like an active role in society. I don't really do much. Um, I just live a the most times you'll see me is if I'm out grocery, grocery shopping or, you know, at a store or something like that. It's not like, you know, I go out here or there or I appear on just about everything. I'm just basically limited myself on my, my YouTube videos as well as my Patreon videos. So um, that's about the extent of it. Um, yeah, I just needed to say that. I had to release my feelings because right now I'm really frustrated. I'm beyond frustrated. You know, it seems like every time I try to you know, make a, I tried to make a positive change. I'd have these people that just would come in and stomp my shit out. You know what I mean? Or, um, I don't appreciate your suggestions and I understand that there's people who, um, don't like what I do because they don't, may not, may not connect with it on a religious level. Maybe they're used to being a part of a structured religion and that's fine. If, if that's what you want, then you stick with your religion, but people have the right to pursue what it is, um, that their hearts desired. And that sort of spirituality never resonated with me. I, 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 it just never did. Um, the idea, like I said, I'm completely fine with people who respect Jesus. I myself respect Jesus, but that sort of women can't do this, women can't do that, women have, you know, telling me how to wear, wear my hair, what kind of clothes I'm supposed to wear. Absolutely not. You know what I mean? I am not somebody, I believe that you should take care of yourself. I was talking to somebody earlier today and, you know, he was showing me a picture of his current self and I thought, you know, dude, he look, he's taking care of himself. He looks great. Um, I was complimenting him and yeah, I do think that you should take care of yourself. And, you know, um, when people were trying to bully me, be based on what I was eating and stuff like that, it's like you were trying to force me into suicide. That's basically what it was, and I didn't appreciate it. And no, I will not forgive it. I'm sorry if, you know, um, somebody thought it was their responsibility to feel as though they needed to tell me what to do with my life, but that's one good way of making an enemy of me. I will not fucking be friends with people who don't accept me for who I am. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video. It's getting really late. I got things, actually, I do have things to do. Don't feel motivated to do them. Everything that requires me, mean that I have to do, requires me to go outside. The weather looks like shit, and I don't feel like going anywhere I already got my brain spinning off because I'm pissed off about you know the issue of me moving slowly me wanting to get the fuck out of here and I'm still here so <laughs> hopefully tomorrow will be another day wrapping this video up Take care.